but does finish him up. Gets two. Gets three. What a what a hit that hits him 65%. Whoa! And does it go in? It goes in! It goes in! The wide swing I hope you're doing well. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Married to Call G Sports. So very soon we should. Well, I don't know if it's very soon, but eventually uh, we'll have our Smash team going up against Central Michigan University as part of the Nate Star League Varsity Plus series. So just to give a recap of what's been going on tonight, uh, our Rainbow Six team was not able to play because of server issues. So Nate said that all seven o'clock matches uh, would be postponed to next week. So our Smash, our, our Siege team will be playing against St. Clair College uh, next Thursday. It's possible that might get rescheduled, but right now it is set for next Thursday. Our Smash team played against Michigan Tech. Uh, did not go in their favor, but now they are talking things over and getting things ready for their match against uh, Central Michigan. And I'm going to make sure that I have everything set up on my end uh, for that. But it doesn't look like the lobby is being created, so... I have to see where Central Michigan might be in the middle of their other match. So if they're still playing that, then we might have to take a little bit of a breather and wait until they're ready. But I'll at least go over a couple things uh, while we are waiting for that. So first of all, let's go over the roster for our Smash team. So we're going to have, I'm just going to go in the order of everyone that's in the room right now. So we have sophomore Mars Eric's Mars playing. Uh, we have freshman Ben Baker, Breadman playing. We have junior Ryan Box, Kinker Dinku playing. We got sophomore Peyton Engel, Ginger Ale playing. We have junior Jackie Lauer, Sixer playing. We have sophomore Mason Rice, Cheshire playing. Uh, and I think uh, C. Stoffel uh, played last match, so he's. I don't think he's going to be playing this one. But, of course, we have our head coach, Derek Games, Games Grump. But, yeah, so it's going to be 4v4 uh, crew battles. I believe... Uh, it will be Kinku Dinku, Ginger Ale, Brenman, and Cheshire playing in this matchup. At least that's what I've been told. So we will find out uh, when things are set up. But let me go over announcements while we're waiting. So first of all, I want to give a shout out to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Married Ecology Esports. Uh, they provided our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, mouse pads, uh, microphones. We love the, uh, the quality of their work. We're using their Quadex microphone in our room right now. If you would like to check out some HyperX gear, please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash Marietta ES. The QR code is up on your screen. We also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Every Tuesday and Thursday, they have their game night. So if you go to their restaurant on Front Street in Marietta, they have a Nintendo Switch available. So you can play some Super Smash Brothers yourself or maybe some Mario Kart. But we want to thank Over the Moon Pizza uh, for their support. Uh, of course, we're always looking for more students for our esports program, whether you're a current Marietta College student or a high school senior. Uh, we have our varsity titles in Fortnite, League of Legends, Overwatch 2, Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, Super Smash Brothers, and Valorant. We have our facility here on campus. Uh, we have coaches for several of our teams. And of course, we're always looking for more volunteers who would be able to help our students. In fact, we want to thank all of our volunteer coaches for taking time out to work with our students. Uh, we do try to provide academic wellness support uh, for students we want them to do well in the classroom. We want them to do be healthy both physically and mentally. And scholarships are available for high school seniors and college transfers. So for more information, you go to our link tree, linktr.ee slash Marietta Esports. Now, speaking of tryouts, uh, we do have some tryouts going on in the month of March. We will have in-person tryouts this Saturday, March 16th. If you are going to visit the college during the Navy Blue and White Day, we can set up a tryout while you're here. Uh, otherwise, we do have online tryouts. We'll have uh, online tryouts on Sunday, uh, March 24th. So that's a, about a week and a half away. So it's a three-step process. Just fill out our recruitment inquiry form at bit.ly slash mcrecruit. And then you can uh, schedule the tryout at bit.ly slash mcesport tryout. If you're not available to do a tryout this month, uh, we do have an online tryout date in April and one more in early May. We know that the FAFSA has uh, gone through some hoops and hurdles, if you will, for a lack of a better phrase. 
but uh, I believe the information is starting to get to colleges. So we're so more students are now starting to inquire about esports programs. So we decided to add one more tryout day in May just to give students that extra time because I think uh, places like Marietta are going to say that the enrollment deadline is June 1st instead of May 1st. And of course, you would join our Discord server at bit.ly slash pio discord. Uh, so the QR code's on your screen so you can set up that uh, tryout. Uh, of course, we want to thank everyone for their support. Thank you for taking time to watch our matches. Thank you for following. Thank you for subscribing. It is one of our main sources of revenue. So, of course, uh, if you have uh, Amazon Prime, you get Prime Gaming by connecting it to your Twitch account. And that gives you perks such as free cosmetic items for certain games or free in-game items or even a free sub every 30 days. You just have to say, I'm going to use my Prime Gaming sub and then uh, just remember to renew it every 30 days. And that gives you access to emotes like you see on your screen, like the GG's and the Let's Go's. Now the emotes that have my face or Derek's face, that does require a tier two or a tier three sub, but it is totally worth it. And of course, uh, we announced this on social media just uh, yesterday, but we are partnering with Texas Roadhouse for our next Dying to Donate fundraiser opportunity. Uh, so on Wednesday, March 27th from 48 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, if you go to the Parkersburg, West Virginia, Texas Roadhouse and present the flyer at the QR code you see on your screen, 10% uh, of your food purchase will go directly to the eSports program. So we would love to uh, see if we can raise some more funds for our program. We thank you all for your support. We were able to raise some funds uh, last month during the Day of Giving stream to be able to get some more computers for our students. And we're hoping that this will help us with getting a couple more things that we need uh, for our program. So if you're in the Marietta Parkersburg area, please be sure to download and print the flyer and go to Texas Roadhouse Wednesday, March 27th from 4 to 8 p.m. Now, all right, we are getting things set up for this first match between Marietta College and Central Michigan University. It looks like Brenman is going to be leading off on the Roy. So he tried out a little bit in the last game. Um, so we'll see how it goes this time. It didn't have a lot of success on there, but that was just because they were going up against some very good players uh, from Michigan Tech. So we're going to see uh, what this matchup is going to be like here. So we're just waiting for everything to be selected. Looks like Pokemon Stadium 2 uh, will be the map in this case. In fact, we'll just go ahead and head over to the arena while we are waiting for things to start up. Actually, no, it's not going to be Pokemon Stadium 2. It looks like it's going to be Small Battlefield for that match. We're just waiting for everyone to be ready. Still waiting. We are still waiting for <laughs> things to start. I'm not sure what the wait is, but we should be starting anytime now. The music, that's like the most important part of the match is decide what music you're going to play. Now that's pretty epic right there. All 
All right, I think we have a spectator as well to help stream things on the Central Michigan's end, but we are getting things underway. Here we go, Breadman on the Roy. Versus the Lucina, so this is gonna be an interesting matchup. We'll see how this goes. Throws out the Mecha Koopa, does not connect. Goes for a charge drill attack, does not connect either. Goes for the cannon, doesn't get it. Goes out the Mecha Koopa. A lot of dodging left and right. But we're gonna see the first strike by the Lucina. Although we're gonna see Roy trying to counter that. Goes for the up smash, does connect. 24 to 49%. Drill disc going to connect too. Looking for the cannon, but does not connect. It's launched out a little bit farther. Lucina is going to be fighting back though. That Mecha Koopa is there, but it does blow up in a different spot. We're gonna see Bremen does get back onto the platform, looking for a down drill attack, but does get hit with an up attack. Dodges the up smash, tries to drive over, and does land 90 to 84%. Does get hit with the up B, so you have to watch the platform there. Eats up a little bit of the shield, tries to go for the drill attack, doesn't get it. Now launching into the air, drives back onto the platform. May have gone a little too far, but will launch back in there. Lucina is going to get it to 132%. Tries to stab with a fork. Jabs with some boxing gloves, but gets hit with another side smash back. But that, that will take him out. Lucina is still at 84%. I think Brimman's still trying to get the feel for the character, but it's already juggled in the air for quite a few attacks. Goes for the dash. No follow-up though, Lucina is able to strike back. 74 to 94% damage at this point. Dodges the up smash. Drives over, gets the drill attack, and in the smash and the kill. So now it's two socks remaining. Goes for the Mecha Koopa and the cannon. Just charges it up, but Lucina's just gonna wait very patiently for those to die down. Fires everything else again. But Lucina can just stay on that platform. No need to respond to it. So it's just gonna keep firing. Throws out the cannonball. Does not connect though. Lucina's gonna try to dodge again. So Batman does get a small hit in. 74 to 11% damage in. Drill attack isn't gonna connect either. I'm not sure what is going on here. Goes for a drive attack, doesn't get it. Gets hit with the sword attack. And another sword attack. Already at 106% damage. Does try to fight back with an up attack, doesn't connect though. And we're just seeing this Lucina putting out a lot of damage onto the Roy and does get smashed and taken out. So now Bremen's down to his last stock. It's a couple hits in. The Mecha Koopa explosion does not connect though. Tries to get into a little bit of the shield. Cannonball does go out. Real attack gets shielded. Boxing gloves don't connect. Sword does connect. 20 to 43. Mecha Koopa does connect that time. Dodges the sword attack. But not that one. Mecha Koopa explosion does connect. Goes for the drill attack, but does get grabbed at the last second. Does get by the up smash. 93 to 62%. Let's try to find the opportunity. The cannon is just a little too soon. It gets hit by another sword attack. Another sword attack, already at 128% damage, and it's gonna get smacked back down. And Redman will be taken out. Does take out a stock on Lucina, but just not able to follow up after that. All right, so it looks like Kinku Dinku is gonna be uh, coming in. Does like to play Roy? So we'll see if he brings that out, if he brings something else. But it's gonna be Sword Fighter versus Sword Fighter, or Sword Player versus Sword Player. Choose your fighter. Yeah, he's gonna bring out Hero. That is an interesting choice. Hero's one of those that has like a whole 
variety of attacks, but of course it comes down to your uh, magic points if you have enough to do those abilities. So we'll see what he's going to go with on the hero, but everyone seems to be trying out some new characters. Well, shouldn't say everyone, but Bremen's trying out a new character. Uh, you could think he was bringing out a new character. to get ready. For the selection, it looks like uh, it is Hollow Bastion. Not sure. It will be Hollow Bastion for the map. Ready? All right, I think he's going to be coming in on the hero. So we'll see if he. How he does against the Lucina. Lucina will have to drop a stock. Three, two, one, go! He's ready. He tries to go up for a match attack already, but does not connect. Has to go for another slash stack doesn't connect either. I don't know any of the abilities for hero, so this will be interesting to talk about. It's gonna fly near with the turning attack, but that smash stack is immediately gonna take him out. So already looks gonna stop without doing any damage, but does a pretty strong lightning attack there. Gets another lightning hit in, getting this another 40%. A nice charge attack there. Gonna go for Psych Up, so I'm gonna guess it's some kind of boost. Gonna go for the Flame Slash. Goes for a charge attack, does not get that. Get to do 63% damage. You see, he's trying to get some damage onto Hero. It's going to get back onto the platform, but gets some immediate damage, 83 to 63%. Get some sword attacks in. Goes for a charge attack. Goes for hardball, but does get shielded. Sword attack does not connect, but is able to get a counter attack off right there. Gets launched into the air. Is he going to get back onto the platform? He will not. So now Kiki is on his last stock. Still trying to get a stock off of Lucina. Is that now 95%? Has to go for attacks, but they keep getting shielded. It doesn't get the charge off. Does get back onto the platform, though. Maybe looking for an opportunity for some edge guarding, but doesn't get it. Lucina gets back onto the platform. Charge attack does not hit, but that sword attack will hit. And gets a huge hit there to get Lucina down to her last stock. Going for some damage boosts. But 
Ignis continues at 75%. Danny Lucina only to 12. Last stock each. That lightning whip does not connect. Perfect block comes out. And that smash attack will take out Kinku Dinku. So it's able to drop a stock, but not enough to finish off Lucina. Now it looks like Ginger Ale may be coming in next. Actually, no, Cheshire is going to be coming out instead. So we'll have to see what they're going to be picking against this Lucina. Been playing a lot of game and wash, but may bring out something different this time. Choose your fighter. Game and watch. We'll stick with the game and watch. Game and watch. We have Hollow Bastion for the map. Actually, no, it might not be Hollow Bastion for the map. No, it's still Hollow Bastion. Alright, yeah, swapping places there so Chessar can see the TV a little bit better. We'll have to drop two stocks. I cannot right, everyone's ready. So can Cheshire take out this Lucina? Already trying to go for some juggling that gets shielded. Drops the bomb but does not connect. Tries to go for more bomb attacks. Charge smash does not connect, but that sword is going to. Tries to retaliate the down smash that isn't going to hit. And we're going to see the counter coming out from Lucia. Gets a down air smash in, but already chest starts at 80%. And getting some issues here. I think it's on my end. I think I'm okay. Yeah, everything's fine. We're all fine. Hopefully, the stream does not crash like it has done before. The Chester is at 98%. Gets a big hit in. Tries to go for a finisher. Does not get it, though. He tried to use those bombs as a way to get some extra damage while in the air. Sure, gets launched here at 117% versus the 88 on the Lucina. Gets a down smash, and that's exactly what Cheshire needed to be able to drop the Lucina without dropping any stocks. But yeah, the down smash to get them stunned and then follow up with another charge smash attack was exactly what was needed to be able to, to get back into this game. time but still game and launch I don't think there's any rule that you have to stick with the same color or the same skin
Just waiting for the final selections. Getting things set up for this next game here. Cheshire is ready to go. And we're going to see a, a Ryu. Ryu? Ryu? I've heard both pronunciations. I don't know which one's the correct one. I'm going to say Ryu. So I think I remember there being a cartoon where they pronounce it Ryu. But we're going to see Ryu already getting some big hits onto Cheshire, getting it to 61%, but starting to counter with some bombs, getting to 29, dodges the Hadouken, but doesn't dodge the second Hadouken. Gets the bomb attack in, another bomb, but that one doesn't connect. The attack comes out, goes for another bomb attack, does get blocked and gets hit with the Hadouken, but perfect blocks the, uh, the spinning kick. It's 103 to 63%. Does shield the Shoryuken. Goes for the bomb attack. Doesn't get down. Smash doesn't connect, but gets that attack. But does get hit by the kick. That was a big hit there for Ryu. Tries to go for some in up air juggling. Dodges the Shoryuken. Goes for a bomb attack. Dodges the Hadouken. Actually, no, it does not dodge the Hadouken. Gotta be careful. Gets the down smash. Goes for the bomb attack. Doesn't get it. Going for some up air attacks. Already 140% damage. Down smash that gets shielded, but tosses him into the air. 164% damage. And that bomb attack sends him flying, but is still in the game. Goes for another down smash that doesn't connect. Dodges that the big. Yeah, dodges both of those. Tries to absorb that second one. Ryu's at 189% damage. Tries to spit back out, but does not get it. Gets another hit. And Ryan's just one big hit away from being launched off. And that's exactly what Cheshire wants. So two stocks piece left, but Cheshire's at 71% damage. So he's going to try to close up that gap. Goes for another down smash, but gets the juggle instead. Has to go for some more air juggling. It gets kicked in the face. Another big kick coming out. Chester is trying to get back to the platform. Does dodge. Well, dodged the one kick, but didn't dodge the other. Now down to their last stock. Trying to get this get back into this series. Ryu's at 95%. Treasure has gotta to try to do everything can take out stock. And that's exactly what it needs to do. Another down smash with a side smash combo. And now Cheshire's taking the lead in this matchup. Game Ryu already at 
The momentum is now in his favor. Goes to the bomb and the down smash. Going for an air juggles again. Getting right to 84. Tries to go for the side B. Doesn't get absorbs. Another down smash. And there you have it. He will take down the Ryu. It took two of his stops. But he is trying to close that gap. So now we'll see what Central Michigan will bring out next. So they'll talk things over. Meanwhile, we'll just have to sit here and chill for a little bit. I mean, while we're waiting, I guess I'll mention that uh, we will not have any matches tomorrow, but Saturday. If you love some Smash Brothers, well, I got some news for you. On Saturday, we're going to have some more Smash Brothers. So, in fact, just double checking the schedule here. We're going to see that our Smash team will be playing against Tiffin University at 10 a.m. And then they're going to play against Mount Vernon Nazarene University at 11 a.m. So bringing back some GLEC action and kind of taking some breaks from that because of reschedules. So definitely join us on Saturday to see some more back-to-back -back Smash Brothers. Now we're just waiting for these selections. I'm just gonna make sure everything is good on my end. We don't have any major problems. Settings look fine. A different color once again. So we're going to see that Cheshire is ready. And this time it's going to be a young Link coming out. Interesting choice. Cheshire will have to drop two stock right away. We'll see how he does against this young Link. Young Link bringing out the arrow, tries to go for the, the, the hook shot, doesn't connect, but gets some sword attacks in already. Boomerang coming out. Cheshire is struggling to get some damage onto this Link. Already at 36% damage, gets hit by the hook shot and the boomerang. Does get a deflect on the bomb. But already at 93%, drops a bomb himself, goes for an in air juggle. Gets a smash attack there, getting the link to 68%. Tries to go for some more in-air juggles, but does get hit with a down smash from the sword. Goes for an in-air bomb, doesn't connect. He's able to deflect those arrows. But that up attack will take them out. Now it's going to be up to Ginger Ale to try to take down six stock from Central Michigan if they want to take this first game. Marina will get to choose the map. Ginger will get. I'm gonna guess Corin. Twitch chat, you got the right idea. I don't know why I didn't think of Saturdays being Super Smash Saturday. I love it. In fact, that's what we're gonna call this Saturday. It is gonna be Super Smash Saturday. So please be sure to come back 10 a.m. for those GLC matchups. But yes, it is now going to be Super Smash Saturday.
and we had to bring back the DK rap. Join that DK rap, but now it's gonna be Ginger Ale against Young Link. Last player for the Pioneers. Three, two, one, go! That doesn't connect, dodges the boomerang, tries to go for a sword attack, does strike first though, but does not dodge the spin attack. Goes for a little projectile there, dodges the boomerang, but gets hit by the bomb with a follow-up sword attack. Goes for the down smash, does not connect. Goes for the bite, it gets eaten up by the shield. Goes for a couple strikes there, 52 to 39%. Goes for another stun, doesn't get it. Dodges the hook and the, the boomerang, but not the arrow in the second boomerang. So one thing about Young Link, I mean, he has good close range and range attacks. The range attacks don't hit as hard, but they're still annoying. And that spin attack can be devastating. Already getting Ginger out to 89% damage. Goes with the counter, but does not get the counter. Goes for another counter, but it does not connect. And Ginger is going to drop a stock down to two left. Goes for the kick, does not get it. Shields. A couple attacks, but already taking some hits. Gets the kick off, getting linked to 54%. Goes for the charge, doesn't get that either. Dodges the bomb, but... Goes for another kick. Dodges the has dodges the brain, but the fire arrow does connect. You see Young Link already countering back. Another spin attack from the Young Link. And just damage after damage. One, two, Ginger Ale having trouble getting damage back. Does get a big hit there. Looking for a possible stun, but does not get it. Looking for an off-air attack, but not able to get it. A big upswing there from Young Link. Dodges that final hit from the uh, spin. Although that projectile does not connect. Goes with the mic, doesn't get that either. Next attack doesn't connect, but does get by the fire arrow. Ginger L out of 47, down to their last stop. Not able to take down any stocks from this young Link yet at 82%. Does get the counter, but just not enough to send him flying. And a misclick by Ginger, unfortunately, will end the match. Trying to go for an edge guard, I think, but just wasn't able to press the right buttons. So the first game is going to go to... Uh, Central Michigan, Marionette was able to take down six stocks this time compared to their last matchup. But Central Michigan will still take that first game. So now they're going to get things set up for the second one here. Make sure everything is uh, set on my end. So I don't know who's going to be leading first for the Pioneers. Uh, but overall, it was a better performance. Uh, we did see some new characters coming out from both Breadman and uh, Kinky Dinku. But I think there's just still a lot of adjustments and learning to do. Whenever you bring out a new character, uh, when you have these different matchups, sometimes it's just hard to know how you're going to be playing against them. Uh, I'm trying to see who's going to be leading off. It might be Ginger Ale again. Sometimes the team likes to go reverse order. But yeah, I think Ginger Ale is going to be uh, leading off in this next game. I don't know what the maps are going to be just yet, so we are just uh, waiting uh, for that. And I think I went through all of my announcements from before. I guess I'll throw in one announcement. Uh, going back to recruiting, we were still, of course, recruiting for our esports program, and we would love to talk to high schools about our program. Uh, in fact, with Fast Food coming out, uh, I'm sure students will do want to hear more about what different colleges offer in terms of academic programs and esports programs. 
So uh, we have here our contact information for our head coach, Derek Games, where we would love to talk to your students. We would love to talk to schools. So if you have high school students that are esports students, uh, but yeah, please be sure to reach out to us through email, uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, uh, or Discord, because we've already done a couple virtual meetings through uh, Discord and Teams and Zoom and Google Meet. So with all those platforms, it's a lot easier to meet with prospective students. So we would love to uh, talk to them about uh, our program. All right, so we're still trying to select the map. It may be Kalos again, but I'm still waiting for confirmation on that. I think they're still just talking things over. But it, I think I do have confirmation that Ginger Ale will be leading off uh, in this second game. But once we have some confirmations, we will get that uh, to you. I guess I'll throw out the schedule while we're waiting as well. But as we mentioned, Saturday is going to be Super Smash Saturday, where our Smash team will be kicking off against Tiffin at 10 a.m., followed by against Mount Vernon Nazarene at 11. I don't have the schedule set up for uh, next week yet, but it looks like we're going to have about six or seven different matches. Uh, our Rocket League team will be concluding their regular season on Monday with a doubleheader starting at 7 o'clock. Uh, and then Thursday, our Rainbow Six team will finish their regular season against St. Clair. And our Smash team will finish their NACE run as well. And then we'll have some more Smash matches uh, on that Saturday. So we'll see how that goes. Looks like the map's going to be town and city, and everyone is getting ready. So let's get in here. It's going to be Corn versus Lucina in this matchup. Probably the same Lucina that we saw in game one. Three, two, one, go! We'll see how this goes. Lucina is going to strike first. But Ginger is going to be able to counter, but it's just sword attack after sword attack goes for the, the bite, does not get it. But a counter does connect by Lucina. We see Ginger already at 86%. And with that side range, just not giving Ginger a chance to recover. Goes for the projectile, does not get it. Tries to get this attack in. Lance does not connect either, gets shielded. Attacks going back and forth here. Tajinger already at 32%. Tries to go for those side attacks. Does not get it. Lands the kick. Trajectile on Mike does not connect either. The kick does get shielded. And a big counter there comes out by Lucina. Ginger is going to get back onto the platform. Goes for that big down air. Goes for the projectile, does not get it. Gets a big attack there as well. But Lucina is able to get back onto the platform. But gets a great kick there. Again, Lucina to 93%. And a huge bite attack. But that was amazing from Ginger Ale. But still a little behind at 88% damage. Now at 101% damage. And they're dead. But they're back. It's now tied up damage wise, but Ginger is down a stock. Gonna have to find a way to close up that gap. Just in the down air, does not connect. Kick does not connect either. Dodges the slice. Goes for the projectile, does not get that. But we're seeing Lucina already putting a couple combos. Gets the counter. A counter also goes up by Lucina, but no damage back and forth. Damage is actually still pretty even between two, 38, 37, but there's still that one stock differential uh, between the two. Just go for the kick, but gets hit by the sword instead. Tries to go for an in-air, mid-air counter, does not get it. Down-air doesn't connect either. Just going back left and forth. 66 to 54% projectile is going to miss. 
Waits very patiently on the kick, does not connect. Has to dodge attacks left and right. Gets a nice attack there. He's in the air now, does dodge the up smash, goes for another nice attack. Goes for several bite attacks, but that does not work. JJ already at 118%, and with that side attack, gets the counter, but does not survive, unfortunately. So Lucina uh, will win, but with only dropping one stock. And that's what that we're seeing about this Lucina. And just with some of these top tier Smash players, is just being able to play off the platform, try to take them off to the side as much as possible. And for a character like Corrin, does not really have a lot of side attacks to be able to get back on the stage. So if you knock uh, Corrin way out in No Man's Land, there's not really a way for Corrin to recover. see King Deku coming in this time on the hero. So now they're going to be selecting the maps. I should serve Smash Burgers as appetizers for Super Smash Saturday. I love the idea. If I had the budget to offer Smash Burgers, I would. You know how I would get the budget to offer Smash Burgers? By subscribing to our channel. If we get enough subscriptions to buy Smash Burgers, I would be ecstatic. You could even give subscriptions if you've already subscribed. And that's another way that we'd be able to offer Smash Burgers on Super Smash Saturday. All right, looks like it's gonna be Pokemon Stadium 2 for the map. Kikidiku's he's ready to play. And we're gonna see that Lucina again. See how Kinky Diku does against Lucina. Lucina is definitely going to try to get Kinky Diku as far off to the edge as possible. We're going to see some sword attacks coming out from Lucina. Already getting Kinky Diku to 48%, trying to get some attacks in himself. Not getting a lot of opportunity to get some strikes in. This Lucina is definitely doing a ton of damage. Getting him already 96% damage. Getting him off the edge again, but we're gonna try to use the to get back in the platform. He does do so. Gets a couple of sword attacks into 109 to 18% damage. Very one side at this point. Lightning attack is gonna land. Goes for the kaboom, but does not work. Already at 134% damage. Does not really have a lot of MP to do any other attacks and is already at 146%. Tries to go to the side but does not get back on the platform, but does get full MP at this point. Try to go for a charge fire attack, does not get it, gets gripped instead. Push with a sword attack, lightning whip does not connect. I don't know what that does, I guess it just... Well... Turns into a metal form, but was able to block the uh, charge smash attack. Throws out the, what's it called, Sizz and Whack? That's Whack. Yeah. Lucy is at 111%. Tries to go for a down air attack. Gets back onto the platform, a little edge guarding. Does get hit back, goes for lightning whip, doesn't get it. But gets countered when trying to attack the shield. Gets a big lightning attack in there, though. Now just needs to find an opportunity to get a stock off of Lucina, but actually does not get back up and loses a stock. 
but will get that stock. So now we're tied up stock-wise, but technically it's still a three-stock differential. So can Kinku Dinku take out this Lucina? Going to be charging up for a sizzle. For shizzle. But we're going to see the scene getting Kiki Diku already 72%, not being able to land any hits himself. Maybe he looks for a hatchet man. What? Is this axe throwing? Is he going to go for axe throws? Does get back onto the platform. And what the? Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure what happened there, but just kind of got Lucina out. Very far down, leaps into the air, and Lucina was not able to get back on the platform, and King and Dinku does take the win. We'll take it. High fives going out. see what the next map uh, will be For the the map selection, And no, it's not Lilac Cruise. That is not on the list. I think we're still waiting for uh, Central Michigan to decide what the map will be. Still waiting for the selection. I think it might be Kalos. Still waiting to find out. It's Little Mac. Interesting choice. Uh, pioneers know how Little Mac works very well. Three, two, one, go! We will have to drop a couple of stocks here. I don't know what Dinka Dinka was doing there for a second. It's like, are you gonna SD the third one? But 
We're gonna see a couple quick hits already by a little Mac. Gets a big sword attack in there. Going for it. Ooh. So we're gonna try to hit hard himself, but already gets hit by a couple of uppercuts. Goes for lightning attack, but does not get it. Dodges the punch. Goes for the fire attack, but just outranges it. Sword attack does not connect, but that punch does. Lightning attack does go off. Going for the accelerate for the movement speed boost. KO is online, and that is going to be not enough to finish him off. Gets back on the platform. KO is still online, though. He's got to be very careful with this. At 120% damage, one big hit. Although dodges the B, but still in very deadly range. One big hit from uh, Little Mac will finish him off. But that lightning will send him flying too. And what was that? And yeah, that was just a range of motions there. It's like, yeah! Oh. But... Giga Digger is able to drop one stock uh, off of the uh, Little Mac. So it looks like Cheshire is going to be coming in. They definitely want this matchup. It knows exactly how to play against uh, a Little Mac. So we'll be bringing out the uh, Game & Watch. So just gonna wait for things to be set up. Mr. Game and Watch. This time it's gonna be a golden type game and watch. Likes to change up the colors. The DK rap. You know him well, he's finally back to kick some tail. This goes on the gun. Get fire in first. If you shoot, young, it's gonna first. Be bigger, faster, and don't. We're still waiting for the final selections for the, the map here. It's going to be Battlefield instead. And Cheshire is ready. And here we go. Cheshire on the Game of Watch against the Little Mac. Three, two, Little Mac will have to drop one, a stock. Go. Everyone is ready. They're sure already going to get hit by a couple of jabs. Gets the bomb and the juggle. Going for the in-air. That's the thing about Little Mac. He just does not do well in the air. So if Cheshire can keep him in the air, he will have the advantage. Does land the bomb attack. But still, pretty even damage-wise. He's able to shield the uh, attack. Dodges the KO. 
Gets the down smash. Shields the jab. Goes for a down smash. Doesn't get it though. 68 to 102%. Shields the other smash attack. Gets a nice hit there. Goes for the bomb. Doesn't connect. Down smash misses too. Does get hit with the uppercut. Gets a down smash and is able to take him out right when KO hits. So we'll not have to worry about that KO for a little while. This could be Cheshire's opportunity to try to even up the score. Oh, he's going to get launched here at 106%. But we'll lose a stock there. Just for a little bit of juggling. Just for a bomb, doesn't connect. He does get hit by a charged attack. Shields those a couple of jabs. Was getting hit a couple of times here. 57 to 40%. Bomb does not land. KO is now in play. Cheshire's got to be very careful to dodge that. Goes for another bomb attack. But KO has worn off. But does still get hit by a pretty big jab. I'm going to try to counter that with a couple of air launches in the air. Uppercut misses. Goes for a, a body slam type attack. Gets a huge punch. Cheshire's at 119%. But does get taken out there. Already down to their last stock. So now it's one stock left each. Cheshire's trying to get some damage out. 102 to 15%. Down smash does not connect. But the uppercut is going to connect. Gets the down smash. Launches him in the air. KO is online. This is actually very scary for Cheshire. Dodges the, the KO. The down smash does get shielded. 65 to 131%. Cheshire's looking for that down smash combo, but not getting it. Dodges the up smash. Another down smash, but gets launched. I think he just needs to try to go for the kill. The bomb does not connect. Does get the down smash he wanted and will get the game. That did get scary for a bit there. Because he's looking for that combo because it would guarantee the win. But the thing with Little Mac is he does hit like a truck. So at that point, one big hit and Cheshire would have been out. So fortunately, they're still in. But we're going to see it's a two stock differential. So we'll have to see what Cheshire uh, will has to play against now. what the map will be. like the selections have been made. Alright, it is going to be Young Link again. And we saw how well this Young Link played in the last game. is going to have to drop two stocks. Go! 
and immediately starts off with the uh, arrow and the boomerang. Has to shield through those. Goes for the bomb. Doesn't connect. Down smash doesn't connect either. Has to dodge the fire arrow. Gets hit with the coke shot. Dodges the sword. Another down smash doesn't connect. Gets hit with the boomerang. Tries to deflect the arrow. Doesn't connect, but so far Cheshire has not been able to do any damage to this Link. Link is just dodging almost every attack. Finally takes a hit, but Cheshire is already at 92%. One big hit is going to be out. And that is going to take it out very quickly with only able to do 18% damage. This young Link was not messing around one bit. And I think it's going to be Breadman to be the anchor for the team. And we're just waiting for the selection here. So it looks like Breadman's going to be bringing out Roy once again. Stage. And just waiting for yeah, they're just gonna pick the music while they're waiting for the uh, the map selection. Still taking some time to pick the uh, the song, but there's a something from the Persona series. Games Trump is appreciating this right now. He is a big Persona fan. Small battlefield. Alright, here we go. It's gonna be Brandon versus this young Link. Last one for the Pioneers. We'll see how he does. Can he claw his way back for the team? We're seeing how good this young Link is. They need to start with that fire arrow to connect and another fire just going to spam those fire arrows and boomerangs Guys to go for the drive does get a hit in it Gets hit by the small bombs Herman's already at 63% and just driving through those arrows tries to go for the saw attack does not get it cannonball comes out and the Koopa mech Does get the charge drill but still 35 to 89% damage at this point. Artax gonna be coming out. Drill isn't gonna connect. Link's gonna get a couple hits in with the sword. Already getting to 130%. Get 
it's a hit in there. Goes assault attack, does not connect. Gets a couple punches in, throws out the Koopa Mech. And gets a big wombo combo there, actually, uh, with the Cannonball and the Koopa Mech. Getting linked to 81%. But that smash attack will take him out. Already trying to go for a couple attacks. Get some punches in. Link's at 111 percent. Redman's at 53. Looking for an opportunity. Uses that Koopa back once again. Slight extra damage. Goes for the up smash. Doesn't get it. He's now at 138%. See able to get back onto the platform. Gets hit by Boomerangs and Arrows once again, though. Dodges these, the charged arrow attack, but not that down sword attack. And another stock is taken away from Brayman. Down to the last one and flies off the platform that is able to get back on. Oh my goodness. Becca Hoop does, uh, or Koopa Mech, whatever you call it, does connect, but a spin attack goes on to Breadman. So now the question is, can he take out this stock? We see it links at 155%. Throws out the Cannonball. And the Koopa Mech gets hit with a little bomb at 101%. Drives back onto the platform. Tries to go for another cannon attack. But doesn't. Gonna try to launch, but is gonna dodge. Another Koopa Mech will come out. Or Mecha Koopa, whatever you want to call it. But that is going to be game. Unfortunately, Brandman was not able to take down the stock from this young Link. So that will be the series. So uh, despite the best effort, I forgot to update the score, but it was uh, 6 to 12. So we'll go ahead and get that updated on there. But that is going to be it for tonight. Uh, as a reminder, uh, there will be some Super Smash Saturday on Saturday uh, where our Smash team will be back at 10 a.m. going up against Tiffin University. And then they will immediately follow with a match against Mount Vernon Nazarene at 11. So please be sure to join us for that. But that is going to be it for us here. For all the latest updates with what's going on with Marriott College Esports, please be sure to follow us here on Twitch, X, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shout-outs to all of our supporters again. HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Marriott College Esports. But we also want to thank By Blue Light, Elgato, MSI, Incrediware, Over the Moon Pizza, uh, and Kovacs. And thank all of you for watching. Thank you for your follows. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your subscriptions. We truly appreciate your support, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a great night.